Mark Rosengarten. Welcome to... Ask Rosengarten. Hello, welcome to another edition of Ask Rosengarten. I'm Mark Rosengarten. This is Mina. Now, I was going to start this video as soon as I got home, so I came upstairs and I closed the door in my studio. And uh, I'm getting some things ready, and I hear the most pathetic meowing from outside the door. Um, this little creature right here. So how do I say no? So, as a result, I haven't been able to get started on this video yet. Although I do have one question today, a most outstanding question from Phantom4476. Um, he's been sending me some really excellent questions lately, just the right level. Let's answer this right now. So the question is, how many atoms of nitrogen are in each of the following quantities? 1.5 moles of N2O4 and 2.0 moles of N2. She's eating my buttons. In order to convert from moles to molecules, it's necessary to multiply by the number of molecules in a mole. This is Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per mole. Now what happens here is that moles cancel and will leave us with molecules. This gives us 9.0 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of N2O4 and 1.2 times 10 to the 24th molecules of N2. But you're not done yet. You see, part of this problem is that each molecule of N2O4 contains two atoms of nitrogen. Now the question is asking how many atoms of nitrogen. Now we know how many molecules there are. Each molecule contains two atoms of nitrogen. So to figure out how many atoms there are, simply take the number of molecules and multiply it by two. Why? How many fingers are in my hand? Five. She hasn't bitten any off. Five fingers in my hand. So if I have ten hands, how many fingers is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be fifty fingers. Each hand has five fingers, so ten hands would have five times as many fingers because there's five fingers on a hand. Each molecule has two atoms of nitrogen in it, so take the number of molecules and multiply it by two. And this will give you 1.8 times 10 to the 24th atoms of N2 for the first example. And, again, there's two atoms of nitrogen for every molecule of diatomic oxygen you have. So we double this, and that gives us 2.4 times 10 to the 24th atoms of N2. So when you're solving a problem like this, if they ask you how many molecules you have, well, that's simple. Just multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's how many molecules there are in a mole. But molecules are made up of atoms, and there are two atoms of nitrogen for every molecule. There is another way you could have done this. You could have done this to start off with. We could have said, well, there's two atoms for each molecule of nitrogen. So if I've got 1.5 moles of N2O4, I actually have 3.0 moles worth of nitrogen total in that, in that substance. Here I've got 2.0 moles of N2, but there's two atoms of nitrogen per molecule, so that would have been actually 4.0 moles of nitrogen 
atoms. So it doesn't really matter whether you double it to start or whether you double it when you're done. The net effect is the same. You take the number of molecules, multiply it by how many atoms of that element there are in the molecule. If we wanted to do oxygen to find out how many atoms of oxygen there were, we just simply take the number of molecules and multiply it by four atoms of oxygen in the formula. You see how it works? I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever actually done a lesson while petting a cat. Uh, by the way, Mina is the cat in the music video Schrodinger's Cat Strikes Back. She's also the cat uh, at the end of uh, One Half Life to Live. Yes, she is my designated Schrodinger's cat, and yes, she is nibbling on my buttons. I apologize for the sound being a little bit rough today. I didn't have a chance to put on my lavalier mic before she decided to leap into my arms. Now, if you have any further questions like the ones you've seen, phenomenal questions, please mail them in to me at askrosengarten at gmail.com and I'll make sure I get them answered for you. After all, I'm here to help you. So what are you waiting for? Ask Rosengarten.